Malachi chapter 3. The enemy gets us and he says, Bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse, that they may meet in my house, in my house, and prove now here with saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive. We preach that as a prosperity doctrine. Mm -hmm. But remember, most people have not read Malachi past that verse. They stop. If we go back to we study the whole book, we realize that, well, a man robbed God. He was talking to the priest. They weren't talking to the people that was coming along putting their tithes and offering talking to the priest. But the enemy stopped us there. Because if we went down to verse number 16, it says, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. Let's, let me show you what he did. When you started speaking to one another about the Lord, that's why everybody get tired. I don't want to talk about God. I like to talk about everything else. Well, go ahead and talk about everything else. I want to talk about God. You want to talk about? You want to talk to me? We want to talk about Jesus Christ. All right. We want to talk about what He can do in this world. How He come to seek and to save that which we lost. That's what we want to talk about. I don't care how boring it is. I'll become a person who work at a kiosk in the mall. If you don't want to hear it, I'll just move to the next person to come along Amen. and talk to them about it. And just continue to move. So somebody want to hear what I'm saying? It don't matter if you're old, young, and out, whatever. But He said He parking. That means he might have been over there in Israel somewhere fighting a battle. And he heard somebody just mention his name. Because uh -huh. he said he hearkened. It, 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 it got him. And then he heard it. And then it says, And a book of remembrance was written, written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Right. See, people say, I don't know the Bible. I can't talk about Jesus Christ like everybody else, man. I can't tell you about this and that. No, he said then. If you can't talk about me, think about me. They that thought upon me. We want to be in the Lamb's book of life. That's right. But there's another book. And it says, And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. And I will spare them as a man spared his own son that serveth them. We want to be a part of God completely. Amen. Talk about Jesus. You know what you'll do? You'll eliminate a lot of people in your life yes, that don't right. supposed to be here. You don't have to go up and say, look, I don't want to chill with you no more. I don't want to hang with you no more. I don't want to be a part of your life no more. Yeah. No, just get closer to Jesus Christ and those who are not doing the same thing, That's they'll right. fall off. That's I right. promise you they will. Amen. I, I, you know what I found out? I found out this is one of the, in the natural, this is one of the loneliest walks in the world. Yeah. Right. But in the spiritual, I'm full of joy. Hallelujah. I'm full of joy. It's a lot easier. Yeah. Because I don't have to bounce it off 10, 15 people that didn't care about me anyway. That's right. I don't have to ask anybody's opinion no more. Yeah. So when we when we when we come to the house of God, we come prepared. Yeah. We've considered I'm going to the house of God. Yeah. Yeah. And we've considered I'm going to the house of God to get something. Because this is a meeting place. God yeah. orchestrated this time. If there's no other times in your life or that you or, or during your week that you have a set time to be and a place where the presence of God is, you've set this time. Right. You should give them your praise, your worship, yes. your, your strength, yes. everything. Mm -hmm. Everything that's going on inside you. Right. And I don't call it a sacrifice. I don't even use the word sacrifice. You know why? Because the Bible says that we were to present our bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. If I've already presented my body a living sacrifice, everything that's mine is his. Is he? Because he gave it to me anyway. Amen. So if I have to go a little deeper, it I'm not sacrificing, it was his. His hand's bigger than mine anyway. He gave it to me to start with. He gave me the mind and the strength to get gained. He gave me everything, my time. I'm going to sacrifice this weekend. You're not sacrificing nothing for the Lord. He sacrificed his all. And at Calvary, when he said, it is finished. Yes. Everything that could ever been perfected in the flesh was finished. Was done. Right. The flesh Amen. is no more needed. That's right. I'm done. Yes. It's over. Yes. And when you give your body away, your 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 will to God, and your yes. will become in, just intertwined with His Woo. on a regular and on a daily oh, basis. Yeah. God, not my will, Thy will be done. That's not a that's not a that's not a that's simple a, prayer. Yeah. yeah. That's heavy. Yes. That's a that's a strong commitment. Not my will, but Your will, will be done. Yes. Because His will is His will is. Yeah, it's wills. You know what? You see that man, that woman out there that's just without Christ. You get oh, a burden. Amen. And a burden ain't high. A burden is, oh, Lord, I can't take this. Yeah. Then you got to go to go to your knees in prayer or just walk and mention a prayer or say something for that person. Amen. And guess what God starts to move? Guess what? You just listen. 
So guess what he's gonna do it next time? He's gonna use you again. Amen. He's gonna use you again. And guess what a man gonna come along and do? A man gonna come along and say, Oh, you think you holy. Oh, you think you you think you you think you super spiritual. And you know how you answer that question? I sure am. I sure am. Challenge us with something we already know. And if he came to me and said, Oh, you think you're super spiritual? Thank you. Evidently, he knows something I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Sure hey, hey. I'm going to do it. And, the, and the, just the, just the, you know, I know pro this is probably different than what you all used to. This is what I do, though. I, I know I love, the, I love the Lord, I love the Word. And I, and I try to, this Word sets us free. This word is what made us whole. It, I, I mean, Jesus said, I, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. The more of Jesus you get in you, and how you get it, you get it through eating the word. And, and, and through prayer and then through worship. But the word of God is such a main and part, main part of your walk and your relationship with God. You how how often we take it for granted. This is this is this is our offensive. What this is how we fight our enemy. I'm telling you, I I, I, walk, I walk down the street and this all glory be to God. I just walk down the street and I don't care if I don't have nothing in my pocket. My head is in the clouds because I know something. I know what I believe. I know why I believe it. And then a soul out there can move me. I don't have to argue and contend with them because when they when, when God puts them in front of me, their heart is already somewhere along the line. They want to know about God. So you know what I do? I sit there and listen. I be I, I become wise. I listen for a little bit and I consider. All right, and I listen to them. Because the Bible says, by your words you should be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. They tell me how to tell them, tell them what I need to tell them about Jesus Christ. Right. If they already know about the death, burial, and resurrection, I'm not going to tell them about it. So where did you err it? That's what I'm looking for. And each and every one of us that have this hope inside of us, and we're, we're mighty. He didn't say, you can become a witness if you want. You don't have to go to a clinic to be a witness. He said you shall be witnesses. That's right. If you believe him, take him at his word. Right. When you walk into Walmart, when you walk with your job, I am a witness. Yes, right. I am a witness. And I'm not ashamed. Well, again, if our, if our gospel we did, say to them that are lost. And I'm hurting them. And I have a requirement in my life to at least share with them what God has done in my life. Amen. To proclaim, to blow the trumpet, to sound the horn, that God is in this building. Yes, yes, and I'm around. And that's, and that's, I'm telling you, if you get in school and the people at your school are doing going one way or doing something else, just ask, hey, can we have prayer? Amen. People are going to back up. I guarantee you, Some more might. people are going to be in your corner. Amen. Okay. Okay, and when they have a problem or a situation, they're going to whisper to you first. How do I know that? The Bible tells me so. Why can I read this Bible? Yeah. I know Nicodemus was that same person. He came to Jesus by night. That's right. He hid. He had people. People were hindering him from going to God. Yeah. I know you're a man of God, for no man can do the same God be with him. That's right. Jesus cuts the chase. He said, Verily, verily, I said to you. He said, He answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I said to you, except a man be born again. He cannot enter the kingdom of God. Amen. It's all about your state, your, yeah. you being born again. And that, that opportunity will always present itself. Hallelujah. I'm teaching Bible studies everywhere I can. And if somebody wants to know about the word, I'll drop on the down and tell them about where I don't care where it is, how it is, what it is. They need to know about Jesus Christ. Right. Because one day somebody told me about Jesus Christ. Somebody told you about Jesus Christ. Somebody, That's each right. and every one of us were blessed by somebody Amen. who chose not to hide their gospel. That's right. And that's all I'm going to challenge everyone to do. challenge everyone here to do, you know, from here on, you know, get behind your pastor, stand behind what's going on, yeah, but yeah. trust and believe in this word, you get out there, you're the strongest thing moving, if you got the spirit of God, you got the Holy Ghost, you've been baptized in Jesus' name, the problem isn't the message, the problem is too many of us still in the break room, yeah. too many of us are still in training, yeah. and we're afraid, and we're ashamed, and we got too much pride, and whatever else you want to go in there, whatever else, but yet our Lord and Savior came down, walked the dusty road, he said, birds have nests. Fox have hope. Son of man has nowhere to lay his head. Yeah. He gave it all up. He told a rich young woman, you know what? You've done everything. Good job, sir. Now we'll sell all you have. Give to the poor. Come and follow me. He's always inviting. He's always telling. Yeah, all right. Right. You, you did it all. You got everything down packed. Now come do this. And we always find out it's that Jordan River or that Red Sea. Something that's between us and that next step with God. Amen. Amen. Something's there. And we've got to let it go. You know, and please, please know that this world needs you. This world needs you. The people in your circle, God put them there for a reason. Amen. You have the opportunity to change someone's life. Wall Street goes up and down. Yeah. The politicians don't know whether they're going to come. That's right. This world is on a spiral out of control, headed to nowhere real fast. Yes. Yeah.
but you have the power to change someone's whole entire life Amen. and their eternity. Yes. So let's all stand. Praise God. Ask you, if you would, to bow your head. I want you to consider something, amen, as we bring this to a close. Amen. I want you to make a consideration. There is a, a need in this world that we're living in. Amen. If you don't have salvation, it's been spoken about from the time we got here today. We talked about what it takes to be saved. If you're, if you're here today and you've not experienced salvation, I want to invite you to come to this altar of repentance. Amen. And open up your heart to the Lord. Get some things taken care of today. Don't wait. Don't wait another moment. also want to talk to everyone that's here. See, we all need to consider something, whether we're going to leave here like we came or not. There's a calling that has been placed upon our lives. And that is to be witnesses. And that is to share His gospel. And the opportunity is there every day, time after time after time, as we go through our very busy days. The opportunity is there. But it's time that you and I begin to take advantage of that opportunity. And we need to come to a place today where we, we'll, we'll say, Lord, I'm going to slow down and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit talking about it and I'm going to quit just getting excited about it in the church. I, I, I'm going to do it out there because I know there's somebody out there that needs to hear about Jesus and needs me to help bring them to you, Lord Jesus. And I, 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 I need to apologize, Lord, and I need to ask for some forgiveness because I have let opportunity after opportunity pass me by. I've not told people about you. Sure, I've walked the line, and sure, I've uh, I, I've lived everything and, and, and followed all your commandments, uh, uh, but I've missed out on telling them about you, Lord. I want to consider making sure that I do it every day. I take every opportunity that I have. You see, because eternity hangs in the balance of, yes. for so many people. Yes. Lord, help me. If you will recommit yourself today, why don't you come down here? Why don't you come down here and say, Lord, I want to take advantage of, of these opportunities to share you. Lord, I realize that all I've got to do is tell people about you and what you've done in my life. Would you please, I'm asking you, I'm begging to come down here today and recommit yourself. You've got husbands and wives and brothers and sisters. You've got children that need Jesus. They need you to come down here. They need you to come down here and recommit and say, Lord, I'm going to stop just living it in the church house, but I'm going to of this world. All I'm going to be consumed with is just sharing you. Is there somebody today that will just give a sight of himself? Say, Lord, I want to be more. I want to be a servant. I want to be the one. I want to bring one more person to a place where they know you.